Hey y'all, it's your girl Sasha C and I'm back with another motherfucking video. It's my meat. So today I am making sweet and spicy sliced fish. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, baby. See, I have my seasoned sliced fish. Um what I did yesterday was to clean it, such as removing the scale and clean up the um in between the fish such as in between here um i washed it with some vinegar and water to remove some of the rawness then after doing so i then seasoned my fish with the complete seasoning I also use the island spice, herbs and spices for fish. I also use black pepper. I add some pimento seed. And I also use salt. Right? So after adding my powdered seasoning, I then cut up my onions, my sweet pepper, I add a scallion, tomato, and I also use this pepper that my mom made for me. So what is in this is yellow, um, what should I say, pepper, onions, and other seasonings. So I add it because, as I said, I'm making spicy sliced fish. So... When it's time to fry your fish, you add your oil. I add pepper because as I said, I'm doing the fish very spicy, spicy sweet. So I add my pepper. You can add a piece of garlic to burn in the oil. And you can add a pinch of salt so that your fish does not stick to the pot. <clears throat> and ensure that the oil is very, very hot right because if it is not hot it will stick and if your fish is too wet it will stick so i'm going to allow my oil to get very hot before i add my fish to the pot so when i'm adding my fish i always remove the seasoning from my fish such as the onions the pepper the scallion everything and I just add the fish alone because I don't want the season to be added in the pot and then burn because that will then to give a burn odor and a burn taste in your mouth so as you can see my oil is getting hot my pepper is burning when it reaches the boil the heating point I'm going to remove the pepper because the pepper can make you start to cough and I don't want to they have to be coughing and coughing and coughing so I'm going to remove it when the pepper changes color and then I'm going to add my fish fish to the pot and if you realize I only add three because I don't want to overflow the pot I want to be able to can flip the fish whenever it's time to flip I want to be able to can move it around so that it's cooked evenly so I don't overflow my pot and I ensure that my oil is very, very hot before I put my fish in the pot. I just turn the fish, and before I turn it, I gave the upper side four minutes to fry before I turn the fish. So I'm going to give the other side four more minutes before I remove it from the pot. Then to check whether your fish is cooked or not, you can either use your fork or your spatula to turn or lift the fish to see. For me, I'm going to use a fork. And I'm going to ease up the fish and I'm looking. So it's almost there, it's not quite there yet. So I'm going to give it two more minutes. I can do the move. I'm just going to remove as well. So I'm going to remove a set of fish and I'm going to add some more. Find the fish, I remove most of the oil and I add my seasoning to cook for two minutes in the oil. Oh my gosh, I wish you could smell this aroma right now. Yes, yeah, so 
I am going to leave this seasoning to cook for two minutes and then I am going to add half cup of water and add some fruit cocktail to the sauce along with my seasoning. This is how it looks when I add the water. I am now going to add a quarter cup of ketchup and then I'm going to add the fruit cocktail. adding the quarter cup of ketchup I then add one teaspoon of vinegar and one third cup of granulated sugar or white sugar and a pinch of salt and some of the pepper sauce so it depends on the spiciness how you like your food you will add the pepper sauce or add your pepper to the pot be careful right because I don't want you to cook it and then cannot eat so I then stir and I'm allowing it the sauce to cook for three to four minutes. Then I'm going to add the fish and turn off the pot. There you go, my spicy slice fish.